Hello guys. Today we are going to make a lightning burst effect. Okay first. Let's see the texture. We use a flipbook texture, which contains four different styles of lightning shapes. This texture is provided by Epic. We just use it as an example. If you have a cooler and clearer lightning texture, it will be better. Then, let's take a look at the material. The lightning material is also very simple. Here we use the flipbook function. Usually we use it to make texture animations, but this time we only need to get these four random styles of lightning shapes in Niagara. So we use particle random value, output a random value from zero to one, that is a random lightning shape. And then we add an effect similar to distort. Here is the shape of the lightning. Then as a flicker effect, we use random time, sign, constant bias scale, and limit the output value to cycle between zero and one. We can see that the current value is zero, so it is not flicker now. If it is set to one, it will become a flicker state. Now let's go back to the material. Here is the mask that controls the appearance of lightning. It is a component mask made with step. Then we use the lightning texture multiplied by the mask, then multiplied by the flicker, and finally connected to the alpha channel and the particle color. Also added a depth fade, which is the opacity. Here is emissive color. We use the driver HDR from LDR function to make the color more in line with the HDR standard. Now let's make Niagara. First, set life cycle to self infinite so that it is convenient for us to preview the effect. When we actually use it in our project, we can change life cycle to once and loop duration to one. Then we add a spawn burst, set spawn count to 25. In the initialized particle, lifetime mode is always random, 0.1 to 0.7, and color can be uniformly controlled using the user parameter, which is convenient for us to modify the color at any time in the level. Sprite size, here we use random non-uniform, the min value, X is 100, Y is 800, and the max value is 400 and 1600, making the lightning more slender. Then at a shape location, sphere, set the sphere radius to 10. Now how do we make these lightning burst around? Since we are using particle rendering this time, we can't set the mesh rotation. Eh, in fact, we can also use it. Search for Align Sprite to Mesh Orientation. Using this module, we can use Initial Mesh Orientation to set the rotation of the particle. But we have a simpler way to achieve it. Add a velocity in cone. For speed, we can set it to 1, because we don't really need the speed. We just use it to control particle's direction. At the same time, in the Sprite Renderer, we change its alignment to Velocity Aligned align the particles according to the direction of the velocity, and then change facing mode to face camera. Of cause, we need these particles to be spawned to the upper hemisphere, so the axis is changed to the top of the z-axis, negative one. We also need to change the pivot offset in sprite renderer, y to zero. This will cause the particles to spread out from the edge of the lightning. If you keep the default, the particles will spread in the center of the lightning, which looks very strange. That's it, and the angle is 180. Okay, now we can see these lightnings burst all around. Now let's set the color and size in particle update. For scale color, we add a curve. and its scale curve should be larger so that the lightning will be brighter. For alpha, use the same curve. Then scale sprite size, a curve from 0 to 1, 
When the key data is 0 0.1, the value is 1. We can also add a sprite rotation from negative 100 to 100. That's will look like lightning twisting. The last module, dynamic material parameter. The first parameter is the mask, which is a mask from 0 to 1. Here we use a default curve from 0 to 1. Then for flicker, if we want it to have a flicker, set this value to 1, otherwise set it to 0, OK? We can see this effect in the preview. Not bad. Now, let's create a smaller lightning effect, copy this emitter, and don't need to modify other module. Just scale sprite size. Here scale curve is set to a smaller and random value, 0.5 to 0.8. This should be OK, and spawn count is also more 75. Yes, looks good. OK, so we get this lightning burst effect. Of course, we can also add some additional user parameters to control the number, size, etc. of particles in the level. So that's all for this video. I hope you like it. Bye.